like a goddamn cockroach. Woo! You think you can take me on? Just maybe. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil Village. This is the second time I had to do the intro because for some reason, today, my laptop is deciding that it does not want to cooperate with me and it keeps dropping FPSs. Like right now it's dropping consistently down to 40, I, I don't understand why. But whatever, I don't know what's going on, there's nothing running in the background. If... If it ends up lagging the video, at the very least, I can manually change it. Uh, I can manually fix the, the, the lag issue. But it, it's annoying as sin. But anyway, let's continue on. We finished dealing with the, uh, with the engine metalhead that decided to turn into a dragon in the middle of the battle. And now we have made it back to the very tippy top to the outside world. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I mean, well, obviously there's the outdoor wor uh, world out there. But first, I want to do a little bit of harmless exploration. There isn't anything in here, is it? There's nothing in here, so there's no... Well, there could be a goat. Let me listen, actually. Amidst all this thunder. I don't hear a goat. Okay, yep, there's no goat. Forget the goat. In we go. Never mind. What the? Oh, wait, what the? Oh, uh, whoa. Oh, yeah, he's here, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, my God. Heisenberg is here for sure. Oh, God. Not bad. Not bad. There's your persistence. But I've got a rebellion, too. So stay out of my way. Oh, oh my God. Did he just transform into a metal man? Oh my goodness. He just transformed into a full-blown metal man. Okay, that definitely does not bode well. <laughs> oh no. And we're gonna have to fight that later. That, that, well. Well. We just fell all the way down. This is wonderful. Now we're back. Great, we just reached the top. See, I told you, this is just like the story of the Tower of Babel. We made it all the way to the top, only to be smited and then brought back down to Earth, a.k.a. to the lowest floor of the basement. Heisenberg's factory is an allusion to the Tower of Babel. <laughs> okay, but that's enough about those illusions and whatnot. Uh, that looks like the right way to go. I feel like there should be a goat around here. But I'm wrong, there is no goat. Wait. Yeah, there is no goat. Okay, screw it. Let's continue the long trek back upstairs, because God knows we have nothing better to do, apparently. <laughs> oh, God. We just climbed up. We just spent like five episodes climbing up. Anything in here? Oh, yeah, there's junk in here. It's also dark. We need light. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh. Oh, that's just a room. I thought that was an item for a moment. It's like, item! Okay, remove some debris. Hello? Whoa! Chris! I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why'd you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. 
And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. I mean, after everything that I've been through, I think I deserve an explanation, for sure. Like, what do you mean? Okay, well, I shouldn't say that wasn't Mia, because we did read a thing from Heisenberg's diary notes that uh, Miranda can transform into anyone, practically. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything! That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get it, Ethan. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. What the? Did he make that? I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator. I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. I don't think it's going to be easy staying under the radar when we're probably going to go upstairs and see Heisenberg. That is amazing. Wait, where did Chris go? Chris? Christopher Robin, where did you go? No, you're not Christopher Robin. <laughs> Christopher Robin. Well, I don't know where he went. Uh, Chris Redfield. There we go. <laughs> no, for real, I totally forgot his last name. So I just came up with the first one that came to mind. Christopher Robin. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> ah. Anyway. To Houndwolf Squad. The sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with organization. Guess this just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the mut 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 mutemicite, which has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winters' home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked after her mom. If she looked like her mom, I'm sorry. When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plans, so she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made a, from a metal polymer composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. Alpha. Oh, so Alpha is Chris Redfield. Well, that makes sense. He's always been, like, the leader type. Makes sense that he's the leader of this operation. So he's Alpha. And so this... Thing is made out of, of a metal polymer composite. So it's not pure metal. So that therefore Heisenberg cannot control it with his electromagnetic waves. That's very convenient. And we got a first aid spread. Spread? Spray. Whatever. Okay. Well, there's still more. Oh, well. There's your other pieces of crap. Uh, for, for money. Sure. I, I don't need money. Well, I mean, I do, but not right now. Oh, I, I have an odd feeling that we're going to be fighting against Heisenberg with this. Which is going to be so much fun. Let's save first. Alright, save done. Let's see what's over here first. 
Oh, this is the service elevator. Okay, well, actually, no, it's not the service. It's a different elevator. I lied. This is not the same elevator. Wishful thinking. Otherwise, we would have seen Duke. Uh, can I just climb in? Oh, I had to hold it. Okay. I had to hold it for five seconds. Are you kidding me? This isn't the computer that we're trying to do a forced shutdown. Hold for five seconds until it shuts down. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. Sounds like a plan, Ethan. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Oh, God. I, uh, this is going to be fun. Coming, Rose. Oh, wait. We can actually... Wait. I can't read. Uh, hold this to ready the cannon. <gasps> oh, yes. This is a guard. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh yes, sirree bobbers. Destroy this whole place. I'm gonna destroy it single handedly. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Alright, up we go. Oh boy. Let's destroy everything here. <laughs> well, we're gonna destroy everything we can possibly get our hands on here. Just keep firing the gun like a madman. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this machine gun. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a fun boss battle. I don't know which way the exit. Behind me or in front of me? Okay, this is the elevator ride of doom, isn't it? Oh my god, this is gonna take a little while. Okay, we're almost there. Ah, we go. Oh, I actually had to blow it up. Okay, sure. There you go. Can't use cannon while it's reloading. I realized that, so we'll just wait a moment. Warning shot! <laughs> Alright, let's go. You're like a goddamn cockroach! Woo! You think you can take me on? Just maybe. This will be my war before I kill the bitch. Let's settle this. Ow, 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 ow. A man. A man. Okay. Of course, will be another addition to my arc. Woo! <laughs> I don't know where I'm going here. There we go. How am I supposed to move? There we go. I'm just moving very slowly. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. More weak points. Oh, that was a... T that was terrible. I totally missed. Okay, this thing moves very slowly, unfortunately. Ooh, dear. Okay. There we go. Come on. Okay, this is gonna take a little while to learn how to aim. But I have time. I have plenty of time. No, I am not dead yet. I promise you that. Well, where'd you go? Okay, there you are. There we go. You have plenty of problems that I can aim at. It is very loud. I need to turn down my headset at some point. Oh my god, it is loud. There we go. Okay, one sec. It's very loud on my headset. I need to turn this thing down. <laughs> All the shooting and the screaming and the ambient noise, I can't hear myself think. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. Get out. Thank you. There we go. I wouldn't say you're a freedom fighter. You're not exactly Sonic the Hedgehog and his and his siblings, uh, Manic and Sonia. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ooh! Ow, 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 ow! That hurt. That hurt just a little bit. No, you don't.
I... Oh, you are so... We agree on that one, for sure. Playtime is over. And I have nothing to do... I want nothing to do with you. My god, sir, but you are... An amazingly creepy thing. Oh, what are you doing? Ow, ow. Okay, yeah, just throw that in your face. Ow! Uh-oh. Wait, is this thing till own? Whoa! Excuse me! Excuse me! <laughs> that boulder-punching asshole. Wow. What a reference to Resident Evil! Five. I can't see a thing. What am I supposed to do? Uh oh, uh oh. Am I just supposed to shoot him in the head? I mean, the head's kind of fleshy. Which is probably the truth. I really don't know what I'm shooting at, to be perfectly honest with you. Okay, just shoot, just shoot. Oh, ammo, ammo. Did I get him? I got him. Okay, let's just run. Let me get some stuff. Sniper rifle ammo. There's a lot of stuff to get here on this field. I did not think that there would be ammo to get. Don't worry, I'm, I'm coming in a hot moment, man. That sounded very wrong, but you know what? Screw that. Anything else on this field? I don't know. There probably is. I can't exit. <laughs> this is the worst time to go treasure hunting, I'm telling you right now. Okay. Oh, I see treasure. Well, not treasure, but I see things that I can get. Sniper rifle ammo. My god, this is a large-ass field. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Ow! I should not have done that. Uh, I'm gonna restore health right now, just in case. There we go, a nice little shot. We got way too much ammo. This is amazing. Uh, what are you doing? Oh no, he's doing- Oh no, he- he's- Giving us the engine! Uh oh. What are you doing? Oh my god, are you serious? We're gonna use this while in mid-air? Are you kidding me? Oh, that works! That works! <laughs> That's like in the movies, like the whole thing's flying, everything's going nuts, and you have to, and you have to like, air dive onto the only weapon that's around. That's such a movie thing. That is such Hollywood. <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> okay, so Heisenberg, that would really was a fun fight. I loved that fight. Crystal Heisenberg. Hallelujah. And I got a lot of ammunition too. <laughs> too much ammo. Too much ammo. Ethan, I heard explosions. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there. You hear me? Ethan. What Rose? the? Ethan. Ethan, respond. Mia. What? That's not. Our child. She's so important, isn't she? I don't think that's Mia. She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg on, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> Mother Miranda. Even a bit late to shoot. Enough. Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. 
No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Calm yourself. Rose will be saved. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours! Where are you? Show yourself! Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? She's the crazy lady? You're truly a special case. Wow. But I've learned all I can from you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come out and face me! Oh! Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. Oh my god. I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother. Bound for eternity in blood. Ew! Please don't drink from my heart. Oh my god. I've waited so long. But dreams really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child. Oh my god, she just totally killed Ethan. Oh my... Um... Oh, well, um... I guess that's it for Resident Evil Village! Uh, <laughs> Ethan's dead! <laughs> you you can't come back from a crushed heart! You can come back from a amputated limb, but not, not a... Not an obliviated heart. 